we're gonna jump right into this video you guys i'm going to first start off by priming my face with nyx's hydra primer and base and then i'm gonna move on to my eyebrows using kiss new york professional eye pencil and um i really like it because like it has a spoolie uh, attached to the pencil and I'm basically going with the grain of my eyebrows to basically just get the shape that I want and then using the spoolie to blend everything out and make sure the product is being dispersed evenly now I have this ColourPop Cosmetics um, eye gel in the color Swerve and it's super black as you can see I know a lot of you are like woo that's too dark but I like my eyebrows to be very pronounced on some days and I, as you can see I always use my spoolie to um, blend everything out and you know make sure there's a smooth transition between the brown and the black and I'm kind of just slapping it on because I'm going to clean it up so I'm not too worried about placement right now Next, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone by using my MAC Paint Pot and laying low. And I'm going to carve my eyebrows while adding my primer slash base to my eyelids. And then smoothing it out with my finger. Also, if you're using a paint pot, try not to add too much product because it has like a drying effect. And then when you put your eyeshadow on, it's going to go on unevenly. So there's like a small science to it. Next, I'm grabbing my palette from Lime Crime in Venus. I'm going to first start off by using the color Muse. And no, I'm not starting out with a transition color. I'm starting out with a medium dark color. And then I'm going to get a lighter color to transition after this. And the color Venus from the same palette, I'm going to transition. Either way, before or after, it really doesn't matter if you go light to dark or dark to light. As long as you're blending and your placement is correctly it's it's done correctly and the colors are so creamy they basically blend themselves next I'm grabbing my palette from Geneva's place the Sura Saran palette and I'm starting with the color um, Jamila and I'm just going to add that on top of Venus to add a little depth. And it's a small difference, but it's a difference. Now, from the same company, I'm going to use the Masquerade palette. I'm going to mix the color Ada and Burkina. I'm probably saying all these names wrong, but I'll have the list below for you. And, um... Basically, I'm just going to halo my eyeshadow, putting the browns on the inner corner and outer corner, and then connecting them. And now to put like a little shimmer in the middle of my eye to help add a little drama to the look, I'm going to put my paint pot back on the middle so the color that I put there will stick really well because I'm actually going to use my highlight for that part and that's from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit I'm going to be mixing the color bronze in summer using more bronze than the color summer I'm just going to use a flat brush and just pack that on really nicely
Next, I'm going back into my Lime Crime palette with the color Icon. I'm going to define my eyeshadow just a little bit more. Just to add a little more drama. I'm just making sure everything's blended out. I'm just going back and forth, adding highlight, adding icon. Now I have my Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. And for me, because I have a steady hand, Liquid Eyeliner works the best. This one particularly because it doesn't clump, it doesn't dry, and it goes on super smooth and it's black. And then I go back in with my inner corner, like the inner corner. Um, <laughs> the inner line of my eye. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. I go in with a black liner. And um, I have to mix my foundations. Um, in this light, I'm a little red, but it oxidizes and it goes with my skin color. When I'm done, you'll see. Because um, right now it looks a little dark, but I'm gonna get it together. Um, oh yeah, that's um, Smashbox in the color 4.05 and my Sephora Matte 1045. Those two, I just, I have to mix them. And this lighting makes me look so red. Ugh. Okay, so that's my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Honey. I'm going to use that to um, highlight my face. And as you can see, I really do slap my makeup on and I spend most of my time blending it out. Then I'm going to use another foundation stick by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Ebony for my contour. I have a heart shaped face so it's pretty easy for me to find my lines. Okay, I already blended my foundation out. Now I'm going to add my loose setting power from L'Oreal and it is the Hydra Perfect. And the color medium. Oh yeah, medium. And I just put it heavy in parts I want it highlighted and I go light on the rest of my face. I really don't let it set really. I just basically put it on, press it in a little bit and wipe it right back off. And it sets it. Don't have to do much. And that palette is a contour palette by Ruby Kisses. And I found it at the beauty supply, like at the hair store, you know, where you get your weave at. And um, I decided to try it out and it works really good. Um, the colors on that palette, um, it they don't, they don't have any colors on there. So basically I just use the last four dark browns in the palette and I'm using the lightest brown to contour my nose. And for my blush, I'm going to use um, Jamela from my Geneva's Place palette. And with a really light hand, I'm going to apply that because the colors in that palette are super pigmented. Now I'm just applying my lashes. And these are the ones you get at the beauty supply. You can buy in bulk. And it doesn't even have a number. It just says WSP wispy adding my mascara no brand in particular I like it it really doesn't matter to be honest okay this is my NYX um, lip pencil in the color brown just to make sure my lips keep their shape I like to always add lip liner and then my lipstick and lip gloss this, this is by NYX, this lipstick, and it's in the color Stone. I really like it. And then on top of that, I always add my um, high lip shine in the color Fresh from um, LA Colors. Now I'm going to mix my highlight, um, my Becca in Opal, and my um, highlight um, in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. So first I'm starting off with 
bronze and summer from the glow kit and it's like oh it's just popping i just really like the way these colors lay on your face and they're like super high shine you really don't have to do much to make these this highlight pop as you can see i'm in love with it and then it's really pigmented so i always have to keep going back and kind of buffing it out so you can't see the lines that's my becca highlight in the color opal you see how bright stacking that stuff up does like ugh, it's nasty okay i'm kind of overdosing on my highlight but i honestly don't care i'm gonna do what i feel like doing and you don't have to i'm gonna set it with um mario Bes Beshunku, whatever however you say it but i got that at ulta and that's the finished look. And I am feeling my ponytail. I'm just working it, yes. <laughs> Doing too much, listening to my Nicki Minaj, and dancing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and comment below.